Hi, Steve here from photomasteryclub.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Photoshop to align handheld bracketed exposures. So the reason this is useful is because sometimes when we're out and we want to take a shot uh, and that shot is going to require multiple exposures because the uh, dynamic range in the scene is just too wide to capture in a single frame. Uh, you know, sometimes we haven't got our tripod with us or it's a, just a bit of a hassle to get it out and set it up. But the problem that that comes with is the fact that, you know, there's always going to be a slight amount of movement in between your frames when you're doing handheld bracketed exposures. So with this technique, what you're going to be able to do is just use Photoshop to line those images up so that you can then blend them as if the uh, as if you were using a tripod and everything was lined up and unmoving. So the example I'm going to work on today is with the image that's on the screen at the moment. So here's an example where I've got two exposures. One where the sky was really bright, so I needed to take a really dark exposure to capture the sky and especially the white snow on the mountain there. And this exposure um, where, you know, we obviously needed to uh, get deep into those shadows so I've had to do quite a brighter exposure which then obviously overexposes the sky. So I've brought these two images into Photoshop and I've got them in each one in their own layer. So that's what you're seeing there when I just disable the top layer you can see the one underneath. Now I'll just quickly show you the problem if you're not familiar with this. Uh, the problem with um, with sort of having these misaligned images and trying to blend them is that, let me just add a layer mask there, um, is that when you actually come to um, when you actually come to blend them in together you'll see for example here I'm just running a black brush into the layer mask there uh, you'll see the lines and all the ghosting that is occurring uh, because everything's not lining up perfectly so I'll just undo that and delete that mask so it's quite a simple step. All you need to do is activate or select both layers in the Layers panel. So I'm going to click on the top one, hold Shift on the keyboard, click on the bottom one. So you'll see they're both active. And I'm going to go to Edit and Auto Align Layers. And I'm just going to select the Auto option there and click OK. Now this might take a second or two. I think it might actually be done already. Um, but you'll see now, once that's finished, if I disable this top layer and then re-enable it a few times, toggling it on and off, we'll see that everything appears to be lined up um, at least a lot better than it was before, if not perfectly. So what this allows us to do is just mask each, uh, you know, mask one layer into another um, to create that high dynamic range shot. Now there is a step that you'll need to do before that, which is to just crop the image a little bit. So you'll notice there's a bit of a bit of a funny edge going on around here, and that's just um, you know the reason for that is you know Photoshop's had to move and adjust each layer to uh, to make it line up with uh, with the other. So you know with that there's going to be a bit of uh, loss around the edges. So we just need to crop that in a little bit. So I'll select the crop tool, and I'll just come in a touch from both uh, from opposite corners and I probably need to do a little bit more there let's just bring that in a bit more and there we go so now we have two layers one on top of each other perfectly aligned and if I just do that example now again with the layer mask um, let's select a uh, let's go with a white brush and I'm going to add a layer mask to the top layer I'm going to invert it with Command or Control I on the keyboard. So I've hidden this top dark layer now, and with actually I need a, a white foreground color. Apologies. Um, I need a white brush. I'm going to select a 30% opacity, and I can just start brushing this darker sky into the brighter exposure. So as I do that, you can see the uh, you know the nice dark sky or darker sky is being revealed in this bottom layer and we can just use uh, use the darkness of that top layer again just to uh, blend some more shadows in down here just to kind of help with the uh, 
with the composition and making this little bush in the bottom here stand out a bit more against this background. Um, but essentially that is how you would uh, get to this starting point where you can now quite happily just blend these two layers together with your layer masking technique of choice uh, without having to worry about it not lining up and causing all these weird ghosting effects in uh, you know, around all the edges of the uh, objects in the frame. So if you enjoyed this video and you found this tutorial interesting and useful, then I think you're really gonna enjoy being a part of the Photo Mastery Club membership. So in there we've got heaps of courses and there's a forum and we've got one-on-one -on -one coaching with me as well, uh, which is all part of the, the monthly membership. And you can get full access to that just by joining and becoming a member today. So click the link below this video. If you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a link. Um, if you're watching on the blog, then there'll be a button just below this video where you can uh, go to join and become a Photo Mastery Club member. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the members area soon.